Hey everyone, how's it going? So you've got a project at home and it's just sitting there doing nothing. How many times have you come close to selling it? If you're like me, um, every couple of months you go, you see it in the garage, nothing's happening, you haven't got the funds or the time to do anything more on it. You think, geez, if I just sold this, I could get some money to do this, that or the other. And sometimes you get external pressures you know, from your wife or partner to sell it. I'm lucky, my wife's never asked me to do that. But when you've got two projects, this one and this one, it gets a bit harder and you, you start to rational, well, if I sell one, I can finish the other. And you'd be spot on, you'd be quite right. You would be able to do that in most cases, especially in bevels, like even in, uh, even in pieces, you could get quite a bit for them. And that would more than be enough to pay for the repair to the other bike. But which one do you, which one do you do? Um, I would have, I would have kept this one and sold this one and I've come close many a time. And how do you keep your motivation? And that's something we all lose. We lose the motivation, you know, so we either don't have time, we don't have money to get the project done. It's just sitting there, getting in the way, driving us nuts. And that's how I've been feeling the last few months. Uh, since my video in February, it just doesn't seem like I've made any progress. And, it, yeah, the contributing factors like, you know, have not enough money, not enough time, it plays a big part. And, you know, would you feel better once you sold it? And I don't think you would be. But in the end, you've got to sit down and go, can I realistically get this completed? And with me, I'm under no time limit to get it done. It's more personal. My, my wife doesn't uh, isn't pushing me to get it done. She says she knows I'll get it done in my own time. But it's driving me nuts. I'd rather be riding them than working on them but you know and initially I had a plan the plan was to get this one done first the s2 done first once that was all done pull this one down and then this one the, the engine um just multiple problems you know big end uh top end it all needed it all needed redoing the valves had needed to be everything the whole motor was just toast anyway but it does have a lot of good bits on it from when i got it back on the road um, back in 2011. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just do a little bit each week just to keep me interested and and get some sort of plan together you know um, in the case of the Dharma um, like it's that since since I pulled all the motor out this hasn't moved now I've, I've since taken the motor away I should have taken this off and managed to chase these back and disconnect it all and that's what I'll be doing today I'll be um, removing this getting the cable out and putting these somewhere safe and that way I'll be able to move the bike in and out I'll be able to clean up this mess all the oil and that on the floor and then um, just get little things sorted you know buy new rubbers do some cheap and affordable things and I don't know whether to focus just on one or you know do a bit on the S2 because I could actually I would like to take the um, the lights, the uh, surrounds for the Speedo and Taco and the um, instrument cluster, take that away, have that um, powder coated black so it looks nice and new because, and that, that should bring the bike up nicely and also the, the clip-ons, have them sent away and have more tidied up and do little bits and pieces, try do a few things within your budget, set a budget up, which I haven't done yet, I've just been... So I've just been um, just doing things ad hoc without any real plan. Um, and that, that's not going to work. So we're going to need to start planning it out a bit better. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So next time you see this, um, I should have removed all, I should have, you know, all the wiring is going to be removed from this. I'm going to tidy up the wiring on, on the Dharma and, um, and redo the these this has never sat right so let's fix up the wiring there so I, I rewired these lights years ago i pulled the uh, old globes out, i pulled these apart put new globes in them and i put it in and it never sat right so i'm going to fix that up this um this cluster's in good condition i'm not doing anything with the cluster but that one i'm going to so i'm going to pull that one all out um, i've tested all the electricals the lights indicators that all works on that bike so I'm going to focus on getting the um, getting the just some of the stuff I can send off to be powder coated black. I'm going to get that set off, and that's that's my goal for the next two months. Now you've only got so many hours in the day. 
in, our, in my case, I can set aside a couple of hours each week, which I'm going to set about three hours each week where practical, and I'm just going to dedicate it to getting things done on the bike. Um, not really worth filming some of it, it's just boring as, um, but we're going to chase up a few uh, bits and pieces like the, um, these boots here. I'm going to get those redone. Um, we're going to order new boots and I've got to figure out how they come off. Um, I think it's just the case. I'm going to figure out how the wiring comes apart in this so I can take these boots off, put fresh ones on. Same for the other side. We're going to go through and we're going to replace all the rubbers because rubbers aren't overly expensive. So we're going to focus on that first. We're going to do the same for the um, S2 and we might be able to focus on the um, uh, we'll go through and we'll, we'll find some affordable bits and pieces we can replace. Anyway, that's pretty much for me on the um, on the update on the projects. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.